Okay, so you come to the gym, lift heavy stuff, and then boom! In a span of months, your arms go from noodles to bazookas. How? Where do the muscles come from? Let me explain. Imagine your muscles as a busy metropolis. Inside each apartment building called muscle fiber, there are thousands of rooms called myofibrils that are responsible for making the muscles contract and move. These rooms are packed with microscopic construction crews. The workers in these crews are protein filaments called actin and myosin. When you lift weights, these crews work together. The bricklayers, actin, hold on to building blocks, amino acids, and the movers, myosin, use energy to grab those blocks and pull them closer like a tiny tug of war. Now, here's where the magic, or rather science, happens. When you lift weights, you put stress on your muscle fibers, basically causing microscopic tears. <sighs> this damage triggers a cellular response called the mechanosensitive growth pathway. But don't panic, this is actually a good thing. Your body, in its infinite wisdom, freaks out a little and goes into repair mode. It sends out those special repair crews we talked about that are loaded with protein, the building blocks of muscle, to patch up those tears. And here's the kicker. In the process of fixing things, your body overcompensates. It's like a highly motivated construction crew that doesn't just patch up the cracks in the wall, they reinforce the whole building with extra bricks. This way, your muscles are stronger and better prepared for that bench press PR. So, are muscles just a uniform mass that mindlessly breaks and rebuilds? Not really. They're actually a mixed bag of personalities, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. These personalities come in the form of different muscle fiber types, slow twitch and fast twitch. Imagine a marathoner, someone built for endurance. That's the essence of a slow twitch muscle fiber. These champions are all about slow and steady wins. They have a high oxidative capacity, meaning they use oxygen to generate energy. This allows them to contract for long periods without fatiguing easily. Think of them as the David Goggins of the muscle fiber world. They don't know me, son! They're built for relentless endurance, perfectly suited for activities like long distance running, swimming, or cycling. Now picture a sprinter, someone built for explosive power. That's the fast twitch muscle fiber in action. These guys are the Usain Bolts of the muscle world. They rely on a different energy source, glycolysis, which breaks down glucose, think of sugar, for quick bursts of power. This allows them to generate massive force for short periods, ideal for activities like weightlifting, jumping, or sprinting. But wait, there's actually a third player in this game, fast twitch oxidative fibers. These are kind of like the hybrid cars of the muscle world. They combine some of the power of fast twitch fibers with the endurance of slow twitch fibers. They can generate a good amount of force and have a decent oxidative capacity, making them well suited for activities like interval training or explosive sports like tennis. Okay, now that we know how exactly muscles grow, let's figure out what you need to fuel that process. Building muscle is like a construction project, and just like any construction site, you need the right materials and workers to get the job done. Protein. I love protein. Protein is the kingpin of muscle growth. Think of it as the bricks for those repair crews. After a workout, your body breaks down protein from your diet into its building blocks, amino acids. These amino acids are then used by your body to repair and rebuild the damaged myofibrils within your muscle fibers. This process, called muscle protein synthesis, is the holy grail of muscle growth. Water. Think of water as the mortar between the bricks. It helps transport nutrients throughout the body, keeps your cells hydrated, and lubricates joints. Dehydration can actually hinder muscle growth and recovery, so staying properly hydrated is essential. Carbs. Carbohydrates also play a supporting role. They provide your body with readily available energy, which your muscles need during intense workouts. Think of them as the fuel that keeps the construction crew working. While protein is king for muscle building, carbs help ensure you have enough energy to actually lift those weights and stimulate muscle growth in the first place. Rest. It is crucial as those microscopic tears need time to heal. That soreness you feel after a tough workout, that's your body rebuilding. So while you might be tempted to hit the gym every day, make sure you're scheduling in some rest and recovery days. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night, as this is when your body does most of its repair and recovery work. There you have it. Now you can flex this knowledge on your gym bros, just like you flex your muscles looking in the mirror when nobody's watching. Except for me. Please subscribe. <laughs>